The Philippine Air Force is currently exploring the possibility of acquiring used F-16 fighter jets from third-party countries. This includes considering the purchase of F-16SE from different countries. I am aware that many are eagerly anticipating the Philippines' acquisition of modern aviation equipment. The purchase of brand new fighter jets is still an ongoing negotiation at present. Therefore, while the acquisition of brand new multi-role fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force is being pursued, the government is actively finding solutions to address the growing defense needs of the armed forces of the Philippines. I understand that some of you may be impatient and losing confidence in the Philippines' ability to acquire multi-role fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force. However, the government is working diligently and quietly on this matter. The said acquisition of used F-16S from the third-party countries will be separate from the ongoing multi-role fighter acquisition project, which is currently considering options such as the F-16 Block 70 Viper, JS-39 Gripen E, and others, along with their respective munitions components. An intriguing development is the recently announced offer of 24 Danish F-16 AM slash BM MLU Falcon fighters to Argentina, which bears similarity to the offer made to the Philippines. This similarity indicates that the Philippine Air Force is likely seeking the same type of aircraft as Argentina. This raises questions about the specific requirements and capabilities they are looking for. It is possible that the Philippine Air Force views the Danish F-16S as a suitable option to meet their defense needs. According to sources familiar with the plans, there are significant developments in the Philippine Air Force's procurement of used F-16S from third-party countries. The recently announced offer for 24 Danish F-16 AM slash BM MLU Falcon fighters to Argentina is quite similar to the offer made to the Philippines. Although the final number of units will be determined by the Philippines, 24 units were initially offered. Some sources indicate that the Philippine Air Force is considering acquiring 28 units. The sale will be facilitated by the U.S. Department of Defense and multi-year financing options have been presented. This arrangement allows the Department of National Defense and the Department of Budget and Management to release a manageable amount of funds. Additional expenses will be incurred for the procurement of munitions. This would involve the acquisition of AIM-9X Sidewinders and AIM-120C7 AMRAM, similar to the offer made for new F-16 Block 70 Vipers. It is also likely that funds will be allocated for AGM-65G2 Maverick air-to-ground missiles and AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The deal also includes the provision of spare parts, which will be supplied as part of the U.S. Foreign Military Financing Program. Training for Philippine Air Force personnel is also included in the agreement. Interestingly, this offer is significantly more affordable than Israel's proposal to sell the F-16C slash D Barak 2020, which is priced at more than twice the amount. However, the Israeli offer emphasizes that the Barak 2020S possess greater capabilities and a longer airframe lifespan compared to the Danish F-16 AM slash BM MLU Falcons. This deal will be separate from the ongoing multi-role fighter acquisition project, which is currently considering options such as the F-16 Block 70 Viper, JS-39 Gripen E, and others, along with their respective munitions components. The finalization of the new government procurement law will play a crucial role in this deal. This law aims to expedite the procurement process and enable the acquisition of used yet modern assets, as long as they meet the specified parameters regarding their remaining usable lifespan. The government maintains its steadfast commitment to acquiring a diverse range of projects aimed at bolstering the capabilities of the armed forces of the Philippines. This strategic approach is geared towards strengthening the country's ability to safeguard its territorial integrity and ensure the protection of the Philippines' sovereign boundaries. Through the procurement of advanced equipment, technology, and training programs, 
the government aims to empower the armed forces to effectively address emerging security challenges and maintain a robust defense posture. By continuously investing in these initiatives, the government demonstrates its unwavering dedication to safeguarding the nation's interests and upholding its commitment to national security. We will keep you updated on these developments. And that wraps up our coverage for today's defense news. We've discussed the Philippine Air Force's plans for procuring used F-16S, compared the costs of Danish F-16AM slash BMMLU Falcons and Israeli F-16C slash D Barak 2020, and looked into the implications of the new government procurement law. We understand the complexities of defense procurement, and we strive to bring you clear, concise, and accurate information. Stay tuned for more updates, and as always, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.